Hi everyone, it's Rio Cloudsync. In today's session, we'll look at temporary access paths within the Microsoft Entra Admin Console. Let's first understand what a temporary access path is, and then we'll get into the configuration. A temporary access path is a time-limited passcode that you as an administrator can issue to configure for single use or multiple use purposes. Users can sign in with temporary access pass to onboard other authentication methods, including password lists, such as Microsoft Authenticator app, FIDO2, or Windows Hello for Business. In essence, it's a way to bootstrap other authentication methods. Once you're in the Microsoft Entra admin console by navigating to entra.microsoft.com, we can navigate to the left-hand side, select Identity, scroll down to Protection, and then Authentication Methods. Within here, you'll see the new Authentication Methods blade. If you haven't already done so, you should transition or migrate from legacy SSPR and legacy per user multi-factor authentication to new authentication methods blade. You do have till 30th of September 2025 to do so. As and when you're in the new authentication methods blade, you'll see a list of all your authentication methods available for your use. You'll see the target in terms of assignment, as well as if uh, the, the authentication methods are in an enabled state or a disabled state. In this session, we'll focus on temporary access pass. So if I was to select temporary access pass, you then have an option to either enable or disable the authentication method. In this, in this instance, we want to enable it, which it already is. You then have your assignment blade, which you can both include and exclude. <coughs> if, if we look at a general overview of temporary access pass once more, temporary access pass or TAMP is a time limited or limited use passcode that can be used by users for bootstrapping new accounts, account recovery, or when other authentication methods are unavailable. TAP is issue, issue, issuable only by the administrators and is seen by the system as a strong authentication. It's not usable for self-service password reset. So you can't use it for SSSPR. I think the best use case scenario for temporary access pass settings is account recovery, i.e. someone's lost their phone or their phone's been stolen. You need to issue them a, uh, a time-bound access card so they can remove that um, legacy authentication method and set up a new one or reset it. So once you're in here, you select enable, and then you, you want to look at your target, which is your assignment. You have two options. You can either set the authentication method for all users, or you can select a group. This group will be a Microsoft 365 security group. With that, I've already assigned the group to this authentication method. I've called the group TAP for temporary access pass. This is a Microsoft 365 security group, okay? And within this group, um, my user resides, which is smiles at wcctechnicalpresales.onmicrosoft.com. We then have an option to configure the temporary access pass. Okay. If we press edit, we have an option to set the minimum lifetime, the maximum lifetime, and the default lifetime, and the length of characters of the temporary access pass, per se. The final option to configure is if we want to require it uh, for one-time use um, or indefinitely. If you do require it for one-time use, the end user does have 10 minutes to use a temporary access pass. If you set it to no, and it's not for required for one-time use, then you have an indefinite time to, to activate or use that temporary access pass. You do have to define between 10, 10 minutes to 30 days, okay, within the minimum and maximum lifetime. And this can vary from minutes, hours, and days. In this instance, we're going to keep everything uh, as is. We're going to set it to uh, actually, we're going to set it to um, uh, be able to be used at all times, um, and then we're going to set update. With that, we want to press save. Now we've enabled the temporary access pass. We've uh, assigned it to a particular user within a Microsoft 365 security group, and we've also configured the temporary access pass for indefinite use. We've kept the default uh, variables uh, as is, and now we need to assign a temporary access pass to the user. So if we were to select users, and go to all users, we can then type in the user, which in this case is Steve Miles. We want to select Steve Miles. We want to select authentication methods. We can see that it's currently got an authentication method set up for Microsoft Authenticator, okay, on an iPhone 13 Pro. This is currently using number matching. So if I was to navigate to my other browser and I was to simulate me being the end user, 
I'm logged in as Steve Miles. I'm going to type in my password. It's now asking me to authenticate. However, say for example, I've lost my phone or my phone's been stolen. I can't authenticate. Without having to disable multi-factor authentication, which is a security risk, we can issue this end user temporary access pass to then go into their security info and remove their security authentication method and uh, re-establish a new one. So we'll just come out of here. We'll type in uh, portal.office.com. Okay, and once again, it's going to ask me. But if we go back to the um, Entra admin console, we can add an authentication method alongside our uh, number matching method for the Authenticator app. We can choose a method and we can select temporary access pass. And once again, we can set the, if we want to delay start time, maybe I want to issue it in the near future, maybe when the user starts, if it was a new starter, um, or maybe the following day. You know, so someone's pre-warned you that they've lost their phone, but they, they, they're not working until the following Monday, and you can delay the start time for the temporary access pass. We can also set an activation duration, and once again, if we want it for a one-time use, I'm going to select add. This will issue me a temporary access pass of which I need to copy the pass um, ID as well as the uh, URL, which is just navigating you to the uh, My Security Info um, page in, in terms of removing your authentication method and re establishing a new one. You can see when it's valid from, it's valid until, and when the access pass was created. You can see there's a, there a little policy tip to say remove lost devices from the user account. This is especially important for devices used for user authentication. So if I was to use this, um, if you do come out of this page, you will lose access to the pass, okay? And that, that leads me on to a good point. In terms of roles, you do need to be a global administrator or a privileged authentication uh, methods administrator to administer the roles. Global reader um, only has visibility over the authentication methods, okay? It doesn't have visibility to create the, uh, the methods. So if I was to come back in here, um, I was to navigate. It's going to ask me to enter my temporary access pass now. So if I was to copy, I can show the temporary access pass if I wanted to, and then press next. And you can see it hasn't asked me for my password. And now it's signed me into the portal. And what I could do as an end user, I could provide them this URL as an admin. End user can then uh, come into their browser. Let me just skip this, this new account. They can access the security info page. Sorry guys, it's timed out. You should really navigate to the aks.ms um, forward slash security info first. And then we have a list of our authentication methods in which we can remove our um, number matching authentication method and maybe set up an alternative for the time being until I get a new phone. Um, only last thing to bear in mind in terms of limitations, um, as you've just seen in terms of um, session uh, token activity, um, as and when your session token, access token or PRT token, so primary refresh token expires, um, so will your temporary access pass. This also doesn't support the use of uh, NAP extension uh, with on-prem AD domain services, um, and there's a few other limitations which you can, um, which I'll reference in the Microsoft doc in the description. Any other questions, please let me know. Uh, but thank you very much.